Well, 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 look who is back yet again for another budget deck deck. You have not really found your groove yet with the Bolton and Chain deck. No problem, Kugane has you covered with Ira, the Supreme Ninja Master of the Blitz format. With the restock of Ira Welcome decks as well as the release of Crucible of War Unlimited, nothing is holding you back from becoming the next ninja legend. So go grab your buns and shukai because it's ninja time. The best part of all, today's deck doesn't even need any Majestics or Legendaries, and being in a budget will mean that you will not have a massive momentum because of that, which by the way is the ultimate upgrade for this deck, but who needs a mask when you are overwhelming your opponent with a barrage of incoming damage anyways. By the time this video is done, you too will Kodachi 1, Kodachi 2 your way to victory at local events. So where to get started? Well first of all, go to your LGS and get yourself an Ira welcome deck. This deck will cost you a grand total of 0 $0.0000 dollar, also known as, it's totally free. This little deck may be advertised as a starter deck for beginning players, but what it doesn't tell you is that it actually houses one of the best heroes in the Blitz format, Ira the Crimson Haze. So what makes Ira deck so good? Well, it's all because of her hero power, which gives you a second attack each turn, plus one attack. It's simple, it's elegant and it's totally balanced. Because this bonus works on weapons as well, not just attack actions. So even if your opponent has a massive turn of their own and you block with 3 cards from hand and your arsenal, you can still push 1 to 3 damage with a double Kodachi swing. On top of that, since almost every card in this deck can block for 3 damage buffed further with the flag flex, you can effectively switch between control and aggro at any time, waiting for that perfect opportunity to strike like a real ninja, pushing massive amount of damage into your opponent's way. With that said, let's get into the deck building then shall we? Since this starter deck comes with 3 copies of every card, instead of telling you which cards to remove from the deck, I'm going to tell you which cards to keep, and then we'll get into all the other cards you want to add into this that you likely have to either pick up online or just buy yourself some bulk somewhere to, in order to be able to finish this deck. So the cards you want to keep are the following. 2 Flying Kick, 2 Scar for a Scar, 2 Torrent of Tempo, 2 Whirling Mist Blossom and 1 Lunging Press. Which brings us to the next part of the video, which is actually buying a couple of cards to add into the deck. And as it happens to be, we actually have those amazing affiliate links still readily available for all of you to use. So go check out the description and use those affiliate links if you're going to order these cards anyways. Most of these cards are going to be commons and rares, which means that they are going to be sitting around the 10 to 20 cent mark. You could even go fancy and just order every single one of these in foil and you should still be under that $30 mark because all of these cards are going to be extremely cheap to get a hold of. And I really mean extremely cheap because most of this is just bulk with the exception of the two super rares that are in here. Well, technically three because one of them has two copies. So you want to add the following cards. Cards. 2 Sage of Solace Red, 2 Crane Dance Blue, 2 Flusterfist Blue, 1 Hurricane Technique, 2 Lactat Red, 2 Pounding Gills, 2 Rising Nitras Blue, 2 Whelming Gas Wave Blue, 2 Soul Beat Strikes, 2 Rushing River, 2 Push the Point Red, 2 Life for a Life Red, 2 Razor Reflex Red, and 6 Flick Flex, 2 of every color. A ninja has nothing without his gear though, so let's go through all the equipment you will need to play this hero. Starting off with the most important piece of all, a set of harmonized Kodachis. Because these weapons really shine in an Ira deck, pushing 1 to 3 damage every single turn. Most of it likely going unblocked because you're not running a Mother Momentum is just absolutely amazing. Especially if you can follow that up with something like a push the point for 6 or 7 damage. So. Other than that, you also need to get yourself a Hope Merchant's Hood, a Blood Drop Rocket, Breaking Scales, Snapdragon Scalers, Null Rune Hood, Null Rune Rope, look, I said it right this time, and Null Rune Gloves. 
While the Hog Merchant Suit and the Blood Drop Brocade are not as optimal as the Muzzle Momentum and a Fiendle Spring Tunic, both of these do have some qualities that the Legendaries do not. The Hog Merchant Suit for example allows you to fix your hand during a turn that you have either a full blue or a full red hand, which happens sometimes and can lose your games, you simply put everything back into your deck, you shuffle and you draw a new hand and thus having a higher chance of having an actual hand that you can pressure your your opponent with. Also with the Blood Drop Brocade, since you're usually only going to activate your Fiendle Spring Tunic once in a game anyways, the Blood Drop Brocade allows you to use it early on. One of the things that I run into with the Fiendle Spring Tunic at times is that if I want to play my Flying Kick for example and only keeping one other blue in hand, I need to wait until my third turn before I can do so, which means that I need to put my Flying Kick into my arsenal before I can play it. With a Blood Drop Brocade you are more likely to be able to pull off a flying kick turn as early as turn 2 which is rather convenient and kind of works into your favor one way or another so not having the legendaries isn't a bad thing like it's definitely not the most optimal thing to have but uh, I think you will do just fine with these items regardless. I hope this video was useful to you and it helps you get into the game on a budget. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Also while I am helping you save money, perhaps you have a few dollars spare to join my Patreon. Patreon allows me to continue producing flesh and blood content and I could really use all the help I can get. Either way, I think it's time for you to sneak into your LGS and win those juicy call for us. And if your opponents are angry that you beat them with your Kodachis, simply tell them that Kugane sent you. And with that said, take care everyone, I hope you had fun with this budget deck tech and I will see you all very, very soon.